Beautiful. Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Bell. If you're talking to some of the world's biggest stars <laughs> and some of my favourite people, and we really got one for you today, Anthony Where's Costa. Good, How are you? Oh, I'm good, mate. I'm really good. Nice, nice to finally meet you in person. Well, I know. I think we've been stalking each other because yes. I come and see you in shows and stuff, and you're always too important to talk to me. But no, suddenly, I've slipped through the I hat. Yeah, they say that. No, I always <laughs> want to meet you. No, I mean it's really strange because. Your, your name's always banting about, you know, when, when people start pantoing and everyone's like, everyone's a bit like, oh, has Alex Belfield uh, reviewed you? And you're like, no. And it's just like, has he reviewed you? And they're like, yeah. He's like, what did he say? I said, it's good. I was like, oh, sweet, wicked. So, uh, yeah, you've always been a name I've always worked to meet, mate. So it's I'm a double edged sword, isn't it, this? Because if it goes well, it's the best gig in the world. But this could be really yeah. uncomfortable if it's crap. And fortunately yeah. for you, they've given you a beautiful show. And Thank it's you. traditional, isn't it? They've yeah. given you one of those lovely pantos that is a proper panto. It's proper panto. It's a story panto. And and that's one thing I said to uh, Laura. Imagine I said, "I'm, I'm all, I'm all up for having a, having a laugh and having a giggle, but I want to tell a story." And I think we do that in this show. So, Jan, the director, really let us do our thing and and really sort of let us be free and and, and add things to it. You know, the blue thing, the blue gags. You got to do it because I want I want the mick taken out of me. That's the whole point of being here. You know. Um, so yeah, I loved every minute of it. Love being here. The crew are probably one of the best crews I've ever worked with backstage in a theatre. So. Hats off to them because because they're, they're they're the real stars, mate. It's very interesting. I mean, <laughs> this time last year I was at uh, Derby Arena talking to Duncan about yeah. that show, which I was out at the matinee there today. And you guys are the proper business. You can do it. I mean, whether it's musicals or whether it's panto, yeah, yeah, yeah. churning them out some eight or twelve times a week isn't easy, and it's not for everyone, is it? No, it's not for everyone. I mean, as I said, you know, a couple of my, my lads, you know, Lee, Lee, Roy, Lee, it's not really for Lee. Um, Webby likes it. He's up in Hull at the moment. I think he finishes today. Dunk loves it. Um, I, I persuaded Dunk to do his first panto because he's never done one before. So I did my first one in Cardiff at the new theatre about 12 years ago. And he was like, Costa, what's, what's panto like? Is it, is it hard work? I went, it's hard work, mate. You're going to get no sleep. So just go there and you know roll your sleeves up and enjoy it. And I remember speaking to him after he'd done his Birmingham one. He was like, that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I went, harder than Eurovision? He went, yeah. But he did get to kiss Jay McDonald. Yeah, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> Lucky kid. Twelve times a week. <laughs> Let's take a look at the show. This is the ending, the finale, when they're all on their feet. And they just loved it tonight. Let's have a look. Doesn't it look beautiful here at the Leicester de Montfort Hall? It's Aladdin this year, starring uh, Anthony Costa and, of course, Sam Bailey, who joins us. How are you, love? I'm good, yeah, really good. We must stop meeting like this. It's almost becoming inappropriate. I know. How many years now has it been? Oh, Four, God, too five. many. Far too many. And here you are back at this theatre, and A, they love you, and B, you knock it out of the park. You've got that old ethic, haven't you? Um, do you know what? Just go out there and enjoy it. And, and every single year, something new gets brought to the show like you know and I've done panto here for four years and every single year is different the cast like he said the cast are amazing they're the same people the, the crew are fantastic you know it's 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 a family and it's a family show as well and I've, you know the people that come to watch it are people that obviously want to come back because every single year it just grows in sales where people come it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger I must so, say this girl right I've, I've known her on and off for many a year and and I tell you what, I've never heard someone just sing at ten o'clock in the morning on a school show. We did, we did, we did eight or nine school shows yeah. in a row. Knocked out of the park, mate. I had to get up, no, no lie, I had to be up at like half five, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Just to wake the Making me breakfast up. and everything. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you wish. It's not a rumor. Your head's growing <laughs> again. Um, Is there anything more depressing than knowing you've got to do a show at 10 o'clock in the morning? Because we're no, not equipped for that, are we? Kids. Let's face it's, it's it. The I, mean, kids. I don't mind that. I don't mind no, it. No, it's, I think the I mean, first couple gone. of shows that we did um, yeah. were adult shows and like, you know, obviously families and stuff yeah, like that. Jobs, and then, yeah. then we went straight into kids. <laughs> and it was it was just amazing the sound of all these excited kids and everything it just it gets airs yeah. up and I get really excited and 
obviously at 10 o'clock in the morning to have to sing a Tory Kelly song Amazing. at stupid o'clock oh. in the morning was the, was the least of the problems on my mind. I was just worried about all those silences you get when they don't get the jokes and stuff because <laughs> that's, that's the hard thing in, in, in that week because all the double entendre things, yeah. that they don't really work because the kids are like, and you just get a couple of sniggles from the yeah, teachers. teachers yeah. <laughs> that's that's a sniggle. You know I mean? But even, 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 that, even, yeah, even the lamp scene, I remember the lamp scene uh, in a kid's show, Kids Week, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear my fellow actor, and he was there, <laughs> and I couldn't hear. And in the, in the end, Dimitri just went, "There you go, there you go, sir." Because <laughs> they just they just were going mad for it, which is fine. No, it's great. It, 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 this Panto this year has definitely upped its game. I think that it's it's a variety show this year. There's a bit for everybody, and we're still stood there watching the magic show, like the acts mm. and stuff like that. And the, the the one at the beginning with the fire, I don't know if you saw it, but the one with the cage at the fire, and we're, we're all like yeah. trying to work it out. And, and none of us even, we, we're Not like, there, how do they do it? Don't how know. do they do it? I mean, yeah. I think I was thinking about swapping over, but I've had that many pies this Christmas you'd make a marvellous Debbie McGee, you know, know if we started a magic <laughs> act. I think you'd be wonderful. Chop you in half, put you back together. <laughs> Do it. Which half would you keep? Yeah. Talking I don't of. Know. <laughs> she talks too much. Am I joking? <laughs> He calls me Jack and Ori because I've always got stories, stories to tell. Stories. Talking of uh, Panto Double Entendre, are you comfortable sitting under my bush? I've just realised oh, this. Listen, it's, it's, it's very it's, nice. I feel like I'm in Cyprus. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, very nice bush. I feel Thank like I'm you. in Larnaca. The uh, show t- this year is, is a really traditional feel to it because I noticed some of the Pantos have gone very modern and all of that. Mm-hmm. This is lit and sort of done in a beautiful traditional yeah. style. And I think people want that because they do want he's behind you. No, no, he isn't. I mean, we can all get modern in 2019, but actually we come here to be like we were as kids and go back, yeah. don't we? I, I've, I've literally said to, to my youngest, who's five, and every year I have to kind of tell her beforehand what's happening because I don't want her to ruin it for the rest of my family that come by screaming. <laughs> or sh- She was shouting out, hi, mum, all the way through the show. Mum, I've got a chocolate bar like this and I'm having to ignore it. But I was like, well, when the guy comes out in the scary purple outfit, that's Abenazza. And I had to tell her what to say. You've got to boo him because he's naughty because he don't do his own work. And <laughs> yeah, he definitely yeah, don't yeah, make yeah. his bed. She, she and then me. I had to sort of, yeah, they say, but this is Aladdin like that. So you have to sort of preempt it for the, kids to let them know what's going on and once they get it because some people have never been to panto and we have to remember this there are mm. kids out there that have never seen panto so for them to come for a first time and then sort of see that right okay so he's the evil one and we have to boo him and then and every time she comes out we have to cheer her and then everything you know and it's like and then they want to come back yeah. year after year and you see people that come back and say this is his second year it's the first thing he wanted to do when he left was was to book you know to come back for the next year would you rather be hissed or hugged? Because, I mean, you're not really used to being booed, are you? I love it, Alex. I absolutely love it. I mean, yeah, I love it. I, I come off stage the other day on Boxing Day night. And I didn't get booed enough. And I was going into a room, I was like, Bailey, I'm not getting booed, man. What's going on? You know what I mean? So, Just mention loads of things about the Leicester-Liverpool game. That's it, and you'll yeah, probably yeah, get booed yeah, loads. loads of things. But um, I think for me, I've, I've, I've done the Princes. I've done, you know, the Jacks and the Aladdins. And it's been great. And, and I've loved it. But I'm getting them along in the tooth now, Alex. Do you know what I mean? I don't... I don't want to be a 40 year old man and eventually, you know, go and be an Aladdin. It's just not for me. And um, I, I transitioned uh, from being Prince. And I said to uh, the Panther producer at the time, I said, I'm not a Prince in Cinderella. He goes, no, no, you are because you're in a boy band. I went, no, trust me, I want to be, yeah. I'd love to do something different. And you go really cockney when you're, when you're evil. Even because more it, so it's more scary, yeah. isn't it? It's more scarier. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then that year he said to me, no, you're not a Prince, are you? you you're definitely a baddie. I went, thank you. So the year after I was a baddie, yeah. Loved every minute of it, and it's, I've been a baddie ever since. I love the sound in this as well. Some of the theatres have the worst sound systems in the world, yes. and as two music guys, I think you'll appreciate that as much right. as I do, that it makes yeah, such really, a big really difference. Really when you're really booming out, it makes a great sort of production piece. To to as well. if, you, if you've got any problems yeah. as well, they're straight away on it. You know, oh, if you like... No, so trouble with no they've, they've been absolutely brilliant. They've, they're on board. Every year they learn something new and how, you know, how to make things better, and it's just great. It's growing so much here at the Montfort Hall. I've never seen it this full to be fair even after Christmas it's like you know we're still getting right at the tops of the of the back which is great because you literally stand there at the first bit Imagine and you're that. seeing all the kids with the light things and I'm like well when do they stop and that's when you know because you can see through the through the thingy where that where everyone is and I'm like oh my gosh it's right to the back this time it's actually you know this is after Christmas where 
a lot of people are quite miserable, miserable. especially me. Spent loads really of money. Miserable. Yeah. Boxing yeah. day, I want to take the tree down and everything. I'm like, <laughs> I took mine down on Boxing Day night after everybody left. I'd had enough. Well, oh, what with no. 47 pantos and 70 of my own I shows, I thought enough's enough. Is enough. <laughs> pantos, you do go to a lot of pantos. He loves it. He loves he it. Does it. Right, I can see you being a dame, Alex. Oh, I can God. see Do it out. Put, I might have put Martin out of a job and he's very good. <laughs> it, it's an acquired taste doing that, isn't it? Because you're the, oh, really the hardest saying. worker in it. I mean, getting in and out of all now. those frocks. He's yeah. 30th year, year of doing Panto Dame and he's, he's so good at it. He's a pro. Yeah. You know, he knows he knows how to work the audience. He knows and it, some things he does on stage and they might be little and you might not even <laughs> notice him. Like, But there's certain things that he does because he knows that we're at the corner of his eye and he tries to make me laugh. Yeah. And he's just incredible. He's just so good to work with. He's like the, the uncle. He's the uncle, yeah. yeah. He's, the, yeah he's the uncle of the panto. There's two beautiful things in this that aren't in most pantos, which is that you've got two world-class vocalists from big careers that are in it together and you both get your moment to shine that must be lovely <laughs> come on pay attention <laughs> we are in northampton aren't we? yeah yeah i mean i mean for me i i am just i'm just so happy to be working with sam i think as as i said when we started talking as vocals go you ain't gonna get better than her so you know you could you could tell me to you're blue in the face about who's best blue. Blue. but i think i think this this girl is is the ultimate pro um you know, being a family woman as well. All right, she loves a story, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> but I've, I've loved it. This has been probably one of my best patterns that I've done in terms of cast, team, backstage, crew, everything. I think I would love to come back here. Whether they have me or not, I don't know, but it's one of them things that you can't come back. Sleeping Beauty, you're not taking my job next well, year. I want to sleep on no, stage. No, I want to sleep on stage. That's my job. <laughs> Nothing you there then, is there, love? <laughs> And then the other element to this is the magic that they've put in this yeah, year with yeah, Matthew and Natasha, who we just spoke to. And last night, I mean, what an incredible thing. And you never know where these moments are going to come from. No. It's 2.1 million it's had hits so far, and yeah, it's just been on massive. telly in Japan. I want to see the Ellen mate. show. That's what I want. It's I want insane, Ellen to pick it up. That's what I amazing. want to do. First, I love you with all my heart. You're my best friend. And you let me... I want to yeah! Yeah! On, on our first show, I don't know if you know about this, Alex, but um, Matt had an accident on, his, on the first show, and um, he had to go to A and E anyway. He had a fight with some set. Yeah, basically. yeah. Are you sure it wasn't you? A little bit, you know. So when you get tired, you know. No, it weren't me. It weren't me. He literally had some. Fu- he literally walked into a piece of scenery at the back, oh, accidentally, bad, and like literally, he, he was such a trooper. Like yeah. uh, we managed to get him up to A and E pretty quickly in between shows, and he come back, and they said they couldn't really stitch it right there and then, but they fixed it up so he was fine. But started bleeding again, so right in the middle of the show, and he's the audience are there, and his his eye was just bleeding it's like bleeding, that. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to do the scenes, but if the kids see like <laughs> every time he was going off stage, he was wiping it, and it, it did look a bit of a mess. Like, but he, he just carried on. Yeah. He's like, no, because. It, it was the first show. Like, and we'd worked was, up to this moment. We'd worked up to the know, moment. Uh, he's like, no, I'm not going off. No, that's fine. I'm going to carry on going. And he was such a trooper. Yeah. He really was. I think people forget how dangerous Panto is. You're doing it twice a day. And it's like a West End show it's with everything so that can go wrong. And he's a magician that's chopping yeah. people in half and setting fires. I mean, there's a lot of risk. You've really <laughs> got to yeah. stay focused, haven't you? Yeah, All these absolutely. things can happen. Absolutely. And I think, you know, Matty and Tash, Ultimate Pros, you know, that every, every night... Before they the show, check, they, they check, check all their props equipment. and did it. And I'm thinking, even insane. when they're finished as well, they check everything's working yeah. and, and stuff. And they, we've even started checking stuff for yeah, them. Yeah, I, like, I don't know what I'm looking I'm for. I'm like a musician's assistant <laughs> over here. It's, it's great, it's good fun. Let's just talk quickly about 2020 and what we're going to get next. You're in this yeah. until the 5th. What have we got coming up? Because, I mean, I've said it, you've already said it. You have got one of the greatest voices ever in. I think you're up there with the Dusties and people like that. Wow. You make it look oh, so easy. Stuff. When are you back on tour? Um, well, there's no tour at the moment. I am going out to Nashville to do some writing with uh, amazing Steve Dorff. I'm going out there for a week. Steve um, Dorff, what the actor? No, well, you're picking up his name then? Is no, that why you're picking up his name then? <laughs> that's his son. Oh, wow. So oh, yeah, Steve that's it. Dad. There we Let's go. Let's just get there that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, me and Steve, do you want to pick that up again? I'll do it again. <laughs> Thank <then>. you. <laughs> um, yeah, in, uh, songwriter, Hall of Fame inductee, Steve Dorff, that's the one. Um, yeah, so I'm um, going into a studio with him in Nashville at some point. Um, I've got an audition next month for something quite big in the West End. Oh, Can't hello. say anything. And hello. I've got um, another musical that I'm starring in in August 
um, for eight months. So that's you can say that though, can't you? No. Oh, sorry. Shush. No, I'm not saying not Tell us to. first, I'll though. Give me an exclusive. I'll tell you afterwards, but not on camera, <laughs> because they will they will probably sack me before I've even signed All it. All right, in. so she's off to Nashville. I'm off to Bridlington to work in Lidl. What about Amazing. you? Amazing, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just going to be at home and be a dad. Um, <laughs> I don't know at the moment. You might win, actually. That sounds quite nice, doesn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. He's winning. Uh, I think uh, I've got a few gigs with the boys uh, abroad. And who knows? Maybe some music. You never know. Um, I want to go back into... I want to do more musicals. Or maybe... I'd, 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 I'd I did a play it. last year. I did a play last year in the last year at the Epstein in, in Liverpool. And I absolutely loved it. And the writers there have got something bubbling. So well, let's see what they've got. That's I think stage. you're both phenomenal talents you and so you turn much. up and deliver it. And this is a wonderful pantomime. Aladdin's on until the 5th of January and next year you're back and we'll see where you well, will be. So. And then... I'm not, there's no, there's, there's no like... Oh, you haven't heard I'm, the rumour? No, basically, no. <laughs> I've, I, I offered my services to sleep on stage for two and a half hours. Um, they've not accepted this offer yet, but um, I don't know where I'm going to be next year. We'll so. get you a lovely temper mattress or something. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Guys, lovely to see you. Thank Thanks, you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.